Okay, there. It wasn't um it wasn't saying it was streaming, so I had to restart it again. Okay, am I audible? Is the is the mix good? Okay, this, uh, the in-game chat monitor is a little behind, it looks like. So, um, you don't hear any game audio. Oh. Is that still the case? Like, because it kind of was a little quiet before. I can go see if it's, um, if the balance is off for some reason, but... Is my level good? before I start messing with the stuff. If I just need to pump the game up, then that's good. But if I'm too loud and the game is, like, a little bit quiet, I don't know. Um. Okay. Sorry. Can you still hear me, actually? Um, dang it, I can't adjust this on the fly if I'm using the in-game capture hook. Hmm. Yeah, shoot. I can, however... Oh, um... Does this help? Hmm... It shouldn't, but... Stranger things have happened. Number two. If I turn the game audio up actually on my computer, it might help. Okay, do you hear uh, the ambiance of the the menu screen here? Oh wow, the timestamps on these are really, really jumbled. Okay, can you hear it now? Because then I'm going to hide my chat thing. It could just be that it's really quiet. Okay, so I don't fully remember this game. I think I played it like for five minutes or something before. So, the rules of the stream that I'm doing... I'm going to be doing uh, every game for at least 30 minutes. If I don't get a sense of accomplishment in those 30 minutes, I'm going to keep playing until I get a sense of accomplishment so that I can show off what a game has to offer in terms of what's fun about the game. If the game is unplayably bad because I got it in a pack and it was one of those hanging on ones and like I liked 50% or I liked about 80% of some, some of the games in a pack and there was just this one that I didn't want to play, uh, we will do the game, but um, I probably won't go for the full 30 minutes on that. I mean, I think I have a pretty good judge of whether it's going to be a fun game to watch or not. So, um, that being said, uh, I haven't played most of my games in my Steam thing because I've heard of a lot of them being really good, but I just never get around to playing them. So, I'd say about 80% of these will be blind, and 20% of them will be games that I have played before. Um, and I'll probably be pointing out and doing more of a uh, let's play that I know the game that I'm running. Alright, so I don't even know what any of these are because I really did not remember this game, but uh, we're going to start with story mode because... Yeah. Uh, sure, it's pre-selected and let's go with the middle difficulty. Alien breed. <laughs> It seems we collided with a massive vessel as we dropped out of hyperspace, one much larger than the Leopold. Sensors are picking up signs of life forms on board. <coughs> Slimy hostile ones by any chance? We are entering the planet's atmosphere now. At our current rate of decay, I calculate we have roughly six hours before we impact the surface. 
Without the mainframe online, the Leopold's engines are just scrap metal. Get them online and get to engine control. Ensign Vance, at your service? This man claims his name is Thaddeus Barnes, though I can't vouch for him. I saved your life. Status report. Engines online. Mia, shut it down! It's gonna blow! What the hell happened? I have no idea, but it is safe to say that the Leopold's computer is no longer reliable. As I see it, our only option is boarding the other vessel through that breach in hydroponics and trying to jiggle its engines online. I'm boarding a ghost ship. If I'm not back in an hour... We'll come find you! Just... Are the core systems intact? Let's find out. Okay, so I guess that was the recap. Um, left control, spacebar, run, left shift, PD enter. Hmm. Rotating. Okay. If I remember, this should be top down. Oh, maybe I don't remember this one. Try to activate the emergency power systems and be careful. Okay, so... Okay, there's... I have control of my cursor and I guess I can move the camera with Q and E. Um, interact with spacebar, I think. Systems malfunction. Oh no. Um, there. Oh, hold space bar. Waypoint. Scanner. Scanner. There's scanner. Okay. Um... Okay. Systems powering down. <laughs> this is going to uh, bite Systems me in the ass later, I bet. It's one of those things where, like, <sighs> like Earthworm Jim, I whip the cow. That's what that th that is right there. They're making scary noises. Emergency systems activated. Looks like uh, I don't really need that space where the chat shows up, so Power I'm gonna do that so I can actually... I can watch the chat with you guys, yay! Hit the door. Systems activated. Door online. <laughs> They actually bothered to record door online as a phrase <laughs> for this ship. Okay, whoops, not this one. Um, oh, this door. Okay. Okay, now it's actually kind of turning with me.
Baddies! Little head crab things. Spiffy. Oh wait, I had a melee attack too. I don't know if that's any effective, but... I am stingy as hell, and I will... Emergency systems activated. I will melee attack if, I, if it actually is worthwhile. Um, there we go. Yep, that's totally, totally viable. An alcove with nothing in it. I really don't remember this game at all. I think I played the first one, and this one's a lot more polished looking. And it, again, I only played like the first level of the first one. Oh, back here. I, I can't spin the camera. I want- I'm- ah, thank you. Now I can. Jeez. Emergency systems activated. Power systems normal. <laughs> so that's what that thing does. I don't need bullets. So, I guess I got the lights back on. I need to go into quiet mode, so uh, I won't be narrating for the next little bit. One sec. Systems offline. Systems activated. Power levels at 96%. Door online.
Welcome to Intex Systems. Welcome to Intex Systems. Thank you for choosing Intex.
Security level not authorized. Welcome to Intech Systems. Reboot initiating. Reboot complete in one minute. Okay, cool. I'm back. Um, my friend had to, um, my roommate had to call his family for Christmas. So that was pretty intense. Oh god, this thing is alive. So these things remind me of the, um, oh, what were they? The bugs from Starship Troopers? Whatever aliens they were fighting in Starship Troopers. 
That is that is these things. And there's like fixed camera angles. I don't like fixed camera angles. What the hell is going on? I'm on fire. I'm dying. What is happening? Why am I dying? Well, it is also on fire. So I guess that's okay. I have no health kits. Um, just, uh, go away. Thank you. I am very happy that like, they give you so much ammo for the assault rifle. <laughs> because, holy crap, they have a lot of enemies. Um, I didn't do it. Um, okay. <coughs> so we're actually almost done, uh, playing this one, I think. Since, uh, it's almost been a half hour now. And uh, that's all I'm doing, is uh, giving short samples and actually playing some of these games. And maybe I'll be motivated to play them and finish them later, but... Um... Hi! Shot. Um... Okay, so what else is going on? I'm going the wrong way. Collect the explosive charge. The aesthetic of this game reminds me heavily of Dead Space, which I'm guessing was an influence on them. Then again, any futuristic uh, thing that has primarily like brownish colors uh, and you use a flashlight to see and there's aliens everywhere. It's gonna be hard not to evoke dead space. to me? Uh, that's silly. Um, let's go underneath. Um. I'm talking more about the setting than the creatures, because the, the creatures, yeah. I'm going across the gondola to the technician's office. Um, I would like to shoot, but I can't shoot. <laughs> okay, those guys are kind of funny when you uh, just kind of give them little bursts like that. Don't hurt me, I'm cycling my inventory. It's so rude. Oh. Uh, I think I'm... That hurt a lot. Music is telling me that I need to get a better gun. And there I go. Well, <laughs> perfect timing. Um, next game. I'll give it a wrap-up summary before I go. Um, so, 
this game looks okay. Um, it has co-op mode, so I haven't tried that out, and it has a bunch of different modes we didn't even look at. Top down. I might actually pick it up sometime. It's kind of fun. Um, I haven't got a feel for the pacing yet. It doesn't really seem to have... I mean, it has kind of the you're always doing something thing, so it's hard to put it down. So that's probably a good thing and kind of a bad thing. I don't know. I kind of prefer a little more chapter segregation in certain things. Um, yeah, this isn't a bad game. It's pretty well done. Okay, so we'll see you next time. Uh, should be in a few minutes for people on my live stream. And uh, we'll have a next game up.